I have a terrible time asking for help. I have a tendency to let it go until it's, you know, I really need something. Just those simple things of, hey, how are you doing? Hey, do you need food? Or do you have plans for Thanksgiving? Uh, yes. Just making sure, <laughs> um, just to make sure that they're sort of covered, that they know that they have somebody. It seems like it should be the easiest thing to just say, like, please help me, I, this is hard. These are topics we oftentimes just avoid uh, talking about uh, because it's awkward or uncomfortable or people don't really understand. When I was growing up, there wasn't a lot of communication of emotion, you know, and that impacted me mentally and physically. It got to a point where one day in college, just out of nowhere, I had this thing called dissociative episode, which is, it's like a panic attack that's so bad, you actually forget who you are for a little bit and things like that. Like, it just completely disconnects you from reality. When I first got out of college, I <laughs> decided to take about half a year just to spend some time with friends and to get my bearings. And while I was traveling, I was hoping to actually see my dad because it had been a little while. And we got the call that he had passed away from a heart attack. My natural instincts during that time were to just kind of close off. I think you want to shut down, and especially when you struggle with other issues, you think, oh, the best thing that I can do is just close myself off from the world. Uh, there was a, a knock on my door. I answered the door, and an acquaintance of mine, Phil, was standing at the door and he wanted to talk. He saw me not dealing and coping well with my situation and felt that he needed to let me know that I wasn't alone. Joanna was going through a hard time. Uh, she had health problems. Um, she was dealing with some trauma. And I saw a lot of the same things that I had gone through. And I told her that. He helped me through the thoughts I had and through the experience I had because he had some of similarities with mine. I was just kind of like, am I going to be this for the rest of my life? Or am I going to own up to the fact that I have these things and look for help, let other people know? So I did, I turned to my friends and I was like, hey, I'm in pain, right? And the amount of like overwhelming support that I got from them was kind of insane. My friends realized and I was able to say, you know, I do need this help, but they were able to then pick that up and carry it forward. And a friend there who every week, once a week would say, hey, you know what, we're gonna get in my car, we're gonna drive out to the lake, we're gonna sit all night in the dark and we're gonna talk. And we're just gonna talk about anything because they were going through their own struggles at the same time and we were able to connect over that. And it means uh, so much and it meant so much to me to, uh, to have a friend just reach out and ask how I was doing, to feel cared about. Sometimes you can help people just by being there. The impact that has on the people around you is incalculable. Incalculable. Sometimes the greatest gift you can give somebody is normal. Being willing to listen to them and find out what they need is probably the most important thing. There's some healing in that to let yourself be helped by others until you feel ready to seek help yourself and get better. It doesn't matter how old you are or what you've been through, right? Like everybody hurts, right? We all go through our own things and just don't, you know, don't not do anything about it. I wish I could go back in time and tell myself that. Uh, and I probably need to say it a bunch of times, you're not a burden. The more that we say, I've been through this, um, I can reach out a hand to you too. Uh, the more people see that there's something on the other side of feeling that isolated, feeling that alone. You don't have to be eloquent. You don't have to write the most touching, heartfelt message that will change the moment for them because sometimes people are just in that moment and they need to be there. But if you're there with them, that's what makes the difference. Mm -hmm.